Hi guys. So today I would like to discuss about a slider. Uh, it's a static analysis tool uh, developed by uh, Trellovbits. It's uh, one of the most famous one in addition to uh, Mitril that we uh, already discussed pre in a previous video. So my main goal today is really to show you that it's really basic and really simple to use, uh, show you one or two examples, and uh, also to show you uh, what you can do uh, to uh, learn more about um, solidity, security in general, just by uh, analyzing this kind of tool and uh, the kind of uh, behavior that this tool uh, have. So that's Slitter. Uh, it's the main developer of Slitter is uh, Jocelyn, uh, that is actually one of my friends. So I'm, I'm really happy um, that he is able to provide this tool uh, to the public. There is really a lot uh, that you can learn from it. For the uh, installation part, as usual, uh, you, you have all the sheets directly on the link below, but um, that's uh, the, the main part. First one, you install Slitter. It's written in Python, really simple to install. PIP3 install, slider analyzer, and that's all. You, you are good to go. Then we can uh, use slider. So there is multiple features that are really interesting. The, the main goal, the, the way it works, um, it's a static analysis tool. So that means it will take your smart contract, it will basically compile it using the Solidity compiler. It will, in that case, compile that into uh, EVM. Uh, and in that case, this uh, EVM bytecode will be translated to an intermediate representation. That's the slit, uh, slight IR. And then using this intermediate representation, they will be able to detect some patterns that um, are maybe weird or maybe specific uh, and um, really interesting in, in, uh, in point of uh, security. So there is plenty of them. Uh, it's uh, working really well. Uh, it's pretty fast as well. You can even integrate that into GitHub Actions. So I really invite you to do that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely a go-to. And then uh, in terms of vulnerability and stuff that he will be able to detect, there is plenty of detectors. So uh, we're going to mention them uh, right after. So uh, let's give it a try. Um, one thing you one thing uh, you will need to do is maybe change the Solidity compiler that you are using. For that, I invite you to use the SolC Select uh, tool. So pip3 installed, uh, installed SolC Select, and then you can just install an old version of the Solidity compiler, and you can force the usage of this Solidity compiler directly using this command line. So in that case, we are using an old one, the uh, zero four. 25 and then we're gonna run a slit slider sorry french accent uh, we're gonna run a slider directly on um, one of the examples that is provided so in that case uh, we are uh, launching that against uh, a reentrancy um, on this specific version uh, and it's reentrancy binning uh, dot sol so the file is uh, right there uh, let me show you so that's solc select also created by um, so uh, critic uh, critic that is the um, blockchain related part of a uh, trade of bits and then we have um, reentrancy binning. So as you can see, there is multiple function implementing multiple kind of reentrancy just to be able to detect multiple kind of pattern. Okay. So we are uh, running that, and we, you will get something like that. As you can see, we have some warning perfectly fine and then we have uh, multiple colors. So what you can see right there is. Um, Slider actually detect um, that it's possible to send some ETH to an arbitrary user using a specific call. So it will actually uh, give you uh, which uh, which line, which value uh, can actually uh, trigger that. So in that case, we are on line uh, 32. So let's take a look at the 32, this one. So that's this line of call, of code, address, target, call value. So we are sending um, money directly to this target and it seems that the target um, is not verified at all so that's why he's able to to tell you um, okay this function is actually sending money to a user without verifying the user 
Okay, so you can send that to an arbitrary user. So, of course, uh, I mean, really bad. Uh, you basically have uh, no authorization needed to uh, get some money out of the contract. So, really, really bad. There is uh, plenty of other one. Uh, again, send ETH uh, to arbitrary user again and again. Then you have the yellow one where uh, you have uh, less critical vulnerability, um, some, uh, some return values that are not checked, so some of them. And then you have the green one. So the green is a bit uh, particular because um, um, in my experience, it will basically not just be low importance vulnerability it could be also high importance vulnerability but it's always depending of the context so in that case you can see it detects some re-entrancy um, and it will actually give you the external calls and so on but um, you will need to have uh, some um, some particularities and you will need to verify that uh, maybe it's it could be an external code that is legit so it it can be fine um, you have plenty of them in that case, reentrancy, reentrancy again and again. So as you can see, we also have a, a bunch of details. So that's something really uh, interesting for us. You have the exact uh, name, like the, also the sequence of uh, calls and, and functions that will be called. So that's uh, pretty, pretty nice. And you also have which uh, state variable will be written after that. So particularly useful. Also, something that uh, I found really nice is um, you have a bunch of uh, link to um, uh, an internal Wikipedia of um, Slider that will actually give you some extra information. So in that case, for example, um, this function should be declared external and you have a reference. And if you go on uh, this uh, link, you will see that you will get a description of uh, what is the issue, uh, what are the configurations that actually trigger this bug, um, and how you can uh, fix that, like the recommendation and so on. The wiki is actually uh, enormous, so let me uh, show you that more in detail. That was what I was looking uh, for previously. It's the detectors, so you have a list of detectors that are particularly interesting. Uh, you have the impact and the confidence. The confidence will basically be, um, can you get any false positive with that? So if, if it's a high confidence, that means it's pretty sure um, this um, issue uh, is happening. And you have the impact. So is it critical or not? So as you can see, high impact, high confidence are at the beginning and so on and so on until um, like optimization, informal and so on. So you have a bunch of them. You can see, um, I don't know, multiple constructor, um, name reused, um, uninitialized state, um, arbitrary send. So th this kind of stuff are particularly uh, interesting. I think the one we uh, triggered previously was, um, let me check. This one was uh, arbitrary send ETH to arbitrary user. Uh, so we have the reference functions that send ether to arbitrary user. So we can click on the link and uh, see a bit more in detail. So we have uh, the stuff, we have the description, we have an exploit uh, example. So in that case, it's possible to withdraw um, without being, I mean, you can set the destination so you can become the own the address that will be the destination the destination sorry and then you can withdraw to this destination so you basically have control of who gonna receive the the, the money you can, you're gonna be able to take control uh, of that so uh, particularly interesting and, and so on so to be honest um it's so simple to use that you should absolutely use it and put that in your CI or at least give a try on some um, on some other contract. Uh, that's really um, something I'm inviting you to do. 
Also, I really invite you to take a look at the wiki uh, and uh, basically maybe discover some kind of uh, logic bugs that are not um, really easy to understand. Uh, and to be honest, you have plenty of examples and plenty, plenty of stuff that can help you to, to learn more about that. So something I also want to show you to finish is that uh, inside the testes, um, you have the detectors folder and inside this one you have uh, a bunch of examples for almost all the detectors uh, that they have. Um, as you can see, you also have like re uh, re for, let's say, this version. You also have some uh, well-known uh, smart contract that was reliable in the past. So that's that's really nice. Um, that's also show you that the guy from uh, Trellopix are actually testing um, this tool and trying to detect some um, real life vulnerability so it's not just theoretical stuff it's also some uh, some real one so particularly uh, particularly good just to to finish on that i also um if you remember my last video about uh, fuzzing um, a smart contract i was using this tiny uh, missing dot sol that is basically um, uh, an old, I mean, a smart contract that is vulnerable to uh, the fact that there is no um, a constructor. So uh, basically, by calling I am missing, um, it's, it's basically similar to the vulnerability in, um, oh, what's, what was the name? Um, well, I, I don't remember the, the, the name, um, like dynamic pyramid and, and, and so on, the, this kind of uh, smart contract. Um, Rubixi, sorry, so Rubix, uh, Rubixi, Rubixi, um, smart contract that was basically a copy paste of a, a smart contract like a um, that was named differently, and uh, basically the developer forgot to change the name of the constructor, meaning that uh, at the end you get this function I am missing that will actually was actually a constructor, but it's not a constructor anymore since the smart contract is named missing. Meaning that this function, if you call this function, you will basically become the owner of the smart contract and then you, be, you will be able to uh, withdraw directly. So that's the kind of um, uh, basically smart contract uh, that is uh, really interesting and that's similar to, to the vulnerability we, we saw. So I will let you uh, give a try to this one, but yeah, basically your goal will be to uh, tr maybe try uh, and... and uh, yeah, try to 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 find something with uh, Slitter. So I will let you uh, give a try. Um, this stuff can be fun using fuzzing and so on, of course. Um, and I will let you check uh, if you can detect that with uh, Slitter in that case. So as usual, if you want to um, get all the resources I'm providing, you can directly enroll on, on this, uh, on my free uh, training uh, about introduction to uh, HRM security. And you will get also access to all the other stuff like fuzzing with HNA, uh, static analysis using Metrail, um, also a tiny uh, video, not so tiny, about um, OEV, o or EVM is working internally and what you can do in terms of reversing and disassembly of EVM bytecode and so on. So basically, each time I got some new uh, video, I'm, I'm basically uploading that uh, on, on that. So I hope you appreciate. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, let me know uh, what you would like to see uh, in the next video. Thank you.